I'm the Rules Girl, and this is Zaya, Embers of a Forsaken Star. Solo Rules In the solo game for Zaya, you'll scour the galaxy for fame, battle with NPC ships, and even embark on an epic campaign mode with legacy elements. The goal of the game is to win, and you win by reaching the fame point requirement before the NPCs. This video covers the solo and campaign rules for Zaya, Legends of a Drift System, and requires the expansion Zaya, Embers of a Forsaken Star, to play. If you don't know how to play, watch our previous videos first! The solo game is played mostly the same as a regular game of Zaya, but you manage the movement and behavior of the NPC ships. On your turn, begin with your action phase, and play the game as you would normally. If you draw mission cards, you may choose a mission immediately. If you choose a mission targeting players, the NPC sitting in that location is your target. After you've finished your turn, the star system expands. To do this, choose the empty space adjacent to the most sectors. Pick an edge symbol and reveal a new sector from the stack, matching its edge symbol to the one you chose. After the star system expands, it's now time to activate each NPC ship in the order they are seated. NPC ships have varying stats, depending on the difficulty level you've selected. They also take on a specific behavior when they enter play. When an NPC ship is first spawned, choose where they sit at the table, then draw a behavior card, randomly picking between the top or bottom behavior. Behaviors are resolved in the order listed on the card. If a step cannot be followed, check if there's an alternate step or ignore it. If an NPC attacks twice on their turn, it's a separate attack, and you may rearm your shields by using energy. If you destroy an NPC ship, you may either keep the original behavior card or draw a new one. After resolving NPC ships, the round ends and the NPC ships will score fame points, as follows. First, remove any cubes on the map. Next, roll the d20. Add 2 to the roll for each of these. Every cube that was removed this round, every 1000 credit bounty collected by NPCs this round, and every fame point the NPCs are behind. And add any bonus due to the merchant's behavior. Compare the total of the roll to this chart and advance the NPC fame point marker accordingly. Remember, the NPCs are working together and share a single fame point marker. Start a new round by taking a new action phase. The game continues until either you or the NPC ships reach the required number of fame points. The first to do this wins the game. Ready to play? Set up normally for Zaya with the Embers expansion with the following changes. Select Easy, Normal, or Hard difficulty and use the corresponding stat cards from PC ships and starting credits. Start with the Near Sector, then reveal additional sectors until you have at least two spawn points and at least four sectors total. Then arrange all the revealed sectors however you like. If you didn't reveal Kempler 2 or Loth, shuffle them into a face-down pile with five random sectors and place them on top of the sector stack. Remove the Avenger, Generous, Heroic, and Benefactor cards from the title deck, and the Fresco Grand Prix and Change of Heart cards from the event deck. Reveal a title, which is available from the beginning of the game. Next, choose a number of fame points to achieve victory. If you are playing a campaign mode, the fame points are determined by the goal you choose. Place your marker at zero, and another marker to represent the NPCs working against you. Spawn your ship on any spawn point, then spawn any revealed NPCs and draw behavior cards. You're now ready to play. After you've learned the solo game, you can try your luck in the campaign mode. Campaign mode is played over a series of solo games on hard mode. As an added challenge, you also cannot reuse a ship until you've used all ships of that tier. The goal of each campaign game is to reach the fame point total before the NPC ships and meeting the special conditions of your chosen goal card. If you beat the NPCs and complete your goal, you gain that goal's special reward for the rest of the campaign. If the game ends and you haven't completed your goal, even if you reach the fame threshold first, 
you must attempt the goal again later in the campaign, even if you reach the fame threshold first. After finishing a campaign game, win or lose, you gain one campaign upgrade. Upgrades give you special abilities, like additional impulse or higher mission die rolls. You may always take a tier 1 upgrade, but to take a tier 2 or 3, you must have the upgrade tier below it. The campaign continues until you've completed 10 goal cards. Record your progress on the campaign log on the back of the solo rulebook. To find your final campaign score, total the difference between your score and the NPC's score in each of your victories. Then, subtract 3 points for each game where you didn't complete your goal. You're now ready to play the campaign! If you like the solo game of Zaya, Embers of a Forsaken Star, you might also like Zaya, Missions and Powers, a mini-expansion for Zaya, Legends of a Drift System from Far Off Games. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking it and subscribing to the Dice Tower for rules explanations, reviews, and more.